I'm not the kind of fool who's gonna sit and sing to you about stars, girl. But last night I looked up into the dark half of the blue and they gone For five days a week, I'm faced with the same dilemma upon entering the building. How to socialize. So I do the only thing that comes to mind. Run. It's the same dilemma during lunch, but I suppose it's not as bad as the morning, because I sit with Ronnie. I've known Ronnie since I was a little kid. We used to play hide and seek all the time. She's probably the only true friend I've got. She cares about my work, and she's the only one who doesn't laugh at my lunchbox. So Vincent, what are we gonna do today? Well, there's this film I'm interested in watching called Framed. Sounds really great. It's about how art changes lives in some Welsh village. Ronnie has some strange fascination with Welsh people. One time, she skipped school to attend pre-screening of the new series Torchwood just because she wanted to hear Eve Miles' Welsh accent. There are Welsh people in it, right? Obviously. Your Eve Miles character is in it. All the more reason for me to join you in watching it. So you'll, you'll meet me outside after school and we'll go over to my house and watch it and all? Sure. I don't remember a time when Ronnie didn't walk to my house after school. It seemed subconsciously habitual to always find her somewhere in my house. <laughs> she insists that she always goes to my house because if she didn't, then she'd lose all aspects of artistry and inspiration and would live a life of bleak, tedious misery. Or something like that. It makes no difference to me as to why she's always here. I'm just glad that she is.
We should do that. What are they doing? They're making silhouettes. It shouldn't be that difficult. Come on. Get going. My parents are probably wondering where I am or something. Oh, yeah, sure, I guess. Um, well, you know, we can always finish the movie up tomorrow or something. It's not going anywhere, so. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it won't. Um, I'll just show myself out. I'll see you tomorrow, I suppose. So, um, did you have a productive day at school? Yeah, fine, I suppose. Do anything artistic or anything? Yeah, it was fun. Would you care to explain this? It's a silhouette. Well, I was looking for a different style of art to do today, and Ronnie and I were watching Framed. It's a Welsh film about art. Well. At least I think it's Welsh. It's just got some Welsh people in it. Uh, and uh, they were doing the silhouettes, so I thought I might try. So this is what you do all day? You just go around drawing pictures? I don't consider my time being wasted. How are you going to get a decent, well-paying job if you got your head stuck in some abstract fantasy world? I want to be an artist when I grow up. Art is just a hobby. But one day you're going to grow out of this phase, and then where will you be? It's not a hobby to me. It's really what I want to do for the rest of my life. Artists don't get famous overnight. It takes years of living in dilapidated old apartments, getting by on hardly any food, and not making enough money to live comfortably. Do you know why? Because artists start out as small people. Do you really want to do that to yourself? Starting tomorrow, I want this whole artsy business to be done with. Got it?
sure, I guess. No, you're not. How would you know? It's not your normal passive face. And what is my usual passive face? <laughs> like this. Looks exactly the same. No, it doesn't. So what's bothering you? I ain't bothered. Stop quoting Captain Kate. I wasn't intending to, but yeah, I, I guess it kind of came out that way. Come on, what's up? It's nothing. Alright then. Why are you sitting on my lunch? Because I want to know what's going on. You didn't have to go and sit on my lunch. I just did. It was a perfectly good lunch. You just sat on it. Tell me the truth. I, I could have just told you anyway. Alright then! I would have just told you anyways. Last night, a while after you'd left, my dad came in holding up the silhouettes that we'd painted earlier that day. He's sick of my art ever since I started my first painting. I wouldn't say that. He did. He wants me to find something else to do. Is he serious? Has he even seen your art? It's brilliant. Okay. I don't think he thinks too highly of art in general. Then we should change that. And how are we meant to do that? You could enter your art into a competition or an exhibition or something. Loads of people will come and see your work, including your dad. Do you think that'll convince him? Vincent, you are by far the greatest artist I've ever had the chance to know. I'm the only artist you've ever had the chance to know. That too, but when I look at your art, I compare it to other artists like Da Vinci, Picasso, even Vincent Van Gogh. That's how you got your nickname, right? After Van Gogh? It's true. His work greatly influences my paintings. That's why everyone should be able to see him. Especially your dad. I think that once he sees your art, he'll finally understand how important it is to you. Okay, I'm in. So, how exactly am I going to convince my dad to come to the art show? Well, my dad always says, the best way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach. So, I suggest preparing him an extravagant dinner, fancy silverware and all, and then, just as the meal is winding down, you'll politely invite him to come to the art show. Trust me, after that delicious meal, he'll have to say yes.
arms in general. I think that willing down has been one of my stronger pieces over the years. Um, I honestly feel like it works. Well, you feel the end you have the Is the bird actually singing something? Because I can't read music. Try this trick. Spin it. There's nothing in but you ask yourself, where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Son, I'm truly impressed. Not because of your talent, but because you remind me of someone else. Myself. When I was a teenager, I wanted to be an artist. I went to museums to look at the paintings and drawings that others had done and thought, why can't I do that? So I tried. I thought I was pretty good too, but it turns out no one else thought so. So I hid my artwork from the world, vowing to never look at it again. Do you remember those open tubes of paint you found all those years ago? Those were mine. And when you started getting into art, I was so hesitant to let you because I didn't want you to fail because I had failed. The point of art is to open people's eyes. That's my goal in life, to change people. I think I've already started. Now I understand why you don't want to give this up. I can see that this is something you want to pursue. And honestly, I think I'll get some benefit out of it. You've got a wonderful life ahead of you. Thank you, by the way. For what? Everything. You told me work things out with my dad. You also thought of the idea to put my work in a show so I can increase my chances of getting noticed. You're in almost every single one of my pieces because, well, you're too shy to ask anybody else to model for me. I thought I was your model because I had a pretty face. Yeah, well, that too. You've also been there for me practically every single day of my life. <laughs> Who would you be without me? I really wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't think I want to. Thank you.